What's up everybody, this is David again from How We Solve and in this video I want to show you how you go from introvert to networking rockstar. I used to be super duper introverted, I was even uncomfortable on conference calls and networking at conferences, forget about it. Until I saw a good friend of mine network at conferences like a boss and I saw how much fun he had and how much business result this generated and so I thought, okay, I want to fix this, I want to hack this, I want this as well. And here's what I did. First, I went to Toastmasters, which is public speaking courses, lessons. I went there twice a week and I went to two networking events per week and talked to everybody on their mom until through exposure therapy, I overcame this. But the main switch in my head was flipped when my yoga teacher said, every decision in life, you make it of love or fear. And this is how this love versus fear thing really helped me with networking and becoming less introverted. The first thing I needed to do was a mindset shift. And this love, not fear mantra really helped with this. Let me give you a few examples. For example, in sales, I used to hate sales with a passion because I always felt like a used car salesman shoving something down somebody else's throat that they don't want. But if I sell out of love, because I know what I have here can be a really good solution for this person's life or business, I can even be pushy, say like, hey man, freaking buy this, is gonna be amazing. Then I'm selling out of love versus if I sell out of fear, I sell because I have to hit my quota, I have to pay my mortgage, etc. then I just, it just doesn't work. And it's the same with networking. Just meeting another person, I think not about me. I think about like, oh, this is other person. How can I provide value to this person? Then it becomes very, very easy. So now that you have your mindset in the proper state, let's get into the prep work before the conference. What do you have to do before the conference? The key to a successful conference is always prep work, basically figuring out who's attending the conference and then reaching out and scheduling meetings with the people that are the right fit for you in advance. And you can schedule meetings with the speakers because you know they're going to be there. You can schedule meetings with the exhibitors. They're going to be there. And these two groups are listed on the conference website. So it's fairly easy to figure out, you know, who's attending. In some conferences, they have a portal or they have an attendee list. And then you can easily do proper prep work and reach out to the right people and say like, hey, I'm attending this conference. Looks like you're going as well. And the XYZ would love to chat. So you can reach out to schedule one-on-one -on -one meetings, like, hey, let's grab coffee, let's, hey, let's grab beer, or like, can I drop by at your booth and um, we can have a chat. Or you can do something that I'm personally always doing, which is a lot of fun and works great, to organize dinners. And you just organize a small dinner, let's say for eight people, so it's, you can kind of connect with everybody so it doesn't get too large, during the conference at one of the evenings, and then you just reach out to people, it's like, hey, I'm organizing dinner for XYZ, influencer group or whatever you're doing and ask them to join your dinner. And it really helps if you have like a few cool people already attending, maybe, the, you know, one of the speakers or somebody who has a bigger name, it becomes much easier to, to draw a crowd and, you know, you just pick up a tab. It's not that expensive and you want to get a good ROI out of your time investment, flying to the conference, buying a ticket, et cetera, hotel costs, et cetera. So just like spending a little more will get you the results. I personally, I'm not the biggest fan of having booths. I think you don't really get that much more value out of it, but definitely schedule meetings in advance, organize these dinners, works like a charm. And once you get the conference and you have your meetings, one cool thing to ask is like, who else should I meet? Who else could benefit from the services that I'm providing? And you'd be surprised how many other cool interests you get from the people that you're already meeting with. If you have some excess time at the conference, just walk around, work the booths that you've kind of pre-selected that may be a good fit to become a partner or a customer and just chat with them and see where this leads you. One cool thing at conferences are the after parties or the dinners, you know, dinners that we always organize as well. There's a lot of those and there's cool after parties to kind of keep your ears open to see where you can hang out with in the evening. It's all about connecting and building trust with people. This is why it's so powerful versus like the online conferences or just Zoom meetings, like getting together in person really builds trust and trust is always the foundation of doing business together. Another little tip, don't add your phone number to the business card, but make sure you can write on the business card. So if you meet somebody you really want to be in touch with, take out a pen and write down the phone number for them. You know, it has like this little extra personalized touch, like, hey, I'm, I'm giving you up. You're so important to me that I give you my phone number. Versus if you have somebody who just wants to sell you something that you don't really want and they ask you for a card, you just give them a card and you just get an email, not, not another phone call. Go through the business cards that you've collected that day in the evening. I always do this and I sit down, I add them to my CRM, 
I connect with them on LinkedIn. If you know, like a personal connection, also connect with them on Facebook or on Instagram or whatever. And I already like follow up and do like the stuff that I already can do. Like, Hey, I promise you this, this introduction, make an introduction or whatever I, you know, committed to doing for this person I always get done and in the evening, cause then it's still fresh in my mind and I will not forget. And also shows you that you're on top of your game, that you're an A player and that you don't, you know, you live up to the stuff that you promise. I think it's, it's, it's really important because there's so many flaky people around after the event. It's important to follow up and it's important to have like a good system to organize your contacts. And, um, you know, in your business, you probably have a CRM, but I also have a personal CRM and I'm using Dex, D E X, getdex.com, which is absolutely phenomenal. I have like all my contacts in there and, um, you know, all the notes that I took in, in these conversations. And it also has a cool functionality. It reminds you to reconnect with people. So you can say like, okay, with this person, I want to at least chat every three months or every six months or every two weeks whatever the cadence is and connects with your Gmail and your Facebook and your LinkedIn and keeps tabs on like, if you have talked to this person or not, and if you haven't talked to this person, it will pop up in your Dex inbox and then you can reach out to them again. It's, it's really phenomenal. Always keep in mind, it's a long game. If you go to conferences and you overcome your introvertness, it's going to be a lot of fun. You'll make great friends that you're going to see again at other conferences and using a system like Dex and going to conferences really builds your network and your network determines your net worth. So it's super important that you get out of this introvert mindset and that you see how much fun you can actually have connecting with people and seeing them at conferences. If you've made it to the end of the video, please subscribe and share this video with other introverts who could benefit from this or team members who are attending conferences. You can have so much fun, can be so good for business. I hope this was valuable. We're always putting out new videos on a weekly basis on how we have solved hard business problems. And I hope I get to see you in the next one.